Good morning, I'm Daniel, and this is Ashford. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Hello, my name's Jason, and I'm the founder and director of Primo. On this week's episode of Inside Primo, we visit the amazing Gymshark. We carry out a further sample on the paint stripping, but this time using glass and water. We also take you around the finished training room, which I'm sat in now. And we also have a specialist hazardous waste company coming to collect all those old tins that you saw on our previous video. morning you amazing lot we've got a uh, sandblasting sample uh, demonstration going on today uh, in Manchester it's the same place where we did the uh, paint removal with the jetting system the jet wash with Spolsch uh, it's just another option for the client because although the water was really good it did leave uh, a little bit of the primer underneath so it didn't quite take it right back to the uh, bare metal which meant there was a bit of um, sort of sanding work required for us to get the perfect finish to then paint on uh, whereas sandblasting it will take it right back and leave the perfectly smooth finish uh, that will allow us to coat straight on top of so we're gonna get to Manchester check out this demo uh, hopefully get some footage we've got the new GoPro which uh, you guys are on right now um, it's actually filming in 4k so hopefully we'll be able to zoom in zoom in uh, as and when we need to just to make it a bit more interesting to watch Boris did his announcement last night the office are staying at home because childcare issues uh, things like that the kids are now off school uh, they're not allowed to go in so yeah the, the girls in the office have got to uh, be at home because there's no one to have the kids but not an issue we will keep on keeping on uh, all our clients remain open construction sector remains open uh, we're very fortunate to be in that position that we will continue and I believe all the suppliers are staying open as well so fingers crossed you know we're, we'll be just fine and uh, we've got a great team uh, both on site and at office level and we'll continue to push the business on. Here's Aidan. Okay, so we've arrived at site where we are going to be doing a sat blasting sample which is water mixed with sand and we're going to be carrying out a sample area where we will be stripping paint from a substrate. Uh, so we're gonna get on with that now. We're gonna see the effect that has and hopefully it'll be a lot better and a lot quicker because the problem last time was the jetting was great. It looked amazing as you'll see, uh, but it didn't take away absolutely everything and it meant that there was a lot of sort of sanding uh, and abrasive work to do before we could paint it. So. Uh, hopefully this process will take it right back to the substrate and we'll be able to paint straight on top of it. Started off on two bear and was right. and then we, we whipped it up a bit just did yeah. yeah it's a big feed it and everything, right? 
Yeah, it's yeah. good. Very Keep good. the finish as well, so we can spray on that. Spray yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't know we're doing yeah. We can turn it up a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot quicker. Yeah. 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 It would do as all as she did you add it all. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the, the in between bit like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was the, the other one down there? Was that just sandblasted? Just the dock. Is that all they did round there? I thought they did a bit of sandblasting as well. Oh. It's still a lot of shit really, isn't it? But these guys have got um, a vac. Right. Yeah. So next yeah. time, they, so they're doing all this, it'll vac up as they're doing yeah. it. Yeah. We'll use that. We'll use the pump. Yeah. Yeah. What's the feed there, mate? Get you yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty if you like, Colin running right the way across. Right. Does that mean that would be something I'd have to ask him? Let's get Aiden on video. Wait, someone's ringing me. Someone's ringing you. Oh, we've been a lot. Morning, Jason speaking. Right, so we've just been and done the sample um, over my shoulder. You, you, I don't know whether you can or can't see, but just done the sample there with what we thought was sap blasting. It kind of is, but it's not sand, it was actually glass. Um, in fact, in sand glass. <laughs> don't put that in, because that might be a little thick. It worked perfectly. It's um, already keyed for us because it's a, a very powerful abrasive and it allows us just to paint straight over the substrate. So, found the solution. Now we just need to get the cost together for the client. See if I've got the HQ. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I have just got back to the office and I am now going to catch up on my emails. Um, the emails have ran quite sort of wild over the Christmas period and I've got quite a bit of backlog. Um, a lot of those are the residential sort of construction side <clears throat> of the business. Getting a lot of leads in there. Um, we'll do a video on uh, the residential side of the business um, at some point very soon. There's a lot to be said about that industry and, and that company. I actually have uh, a custom made spreadsheet um, in fact I'll tell you a little <clears throat> thing so I've always been uh, the entrepreneur who goes on the app store and downloads all the business apps all the um, CRMs all the to-do list apps that go through to your phone and all that stuff in, in with with the vision that that is going to make me more um, efficient and uh, personally it hit me after a year of trying to make that work, a year or two of trying to make those work, <clears throat> that it doesn't. Uh, you spend a lot of the time planning and perfecting your planning and you don't really get loads done or as much as I'd like to get done, I didn't get done. Uh, so this year I've uh, taken a different approach. I've created a custom Excel spreadsheet. On this spreadsheet you have the tasks where I've listed all my tasks. You have time required the matrix code the matrix code is do first schedule delegate ideas and the master list um so the matrix code is is you know each of the pages and then this here jfdi is a button so when i put in all this and i choose the matrix code i then press that button and it then shoots each of the tasks to the relevant document um so the relevant page rather so that means that I can have a moment where I'm just putting my brain out on paper, getting all those bits and bobs down. I can then take a minute to put in whether that needs to be done now, whether it's a massive priority, whether it can be scheduled, whether it can be delegated, whether it's just an idea to come back to later. Um, get it all down, click of a button, spreads it out. And then when I get in in the morning, or like now it's a little bit later because we have to go and do a sample this morning because one of the other... Uh, director Stephen is off so we had to go and um, sort of step in and do that um, I'm able to come in and I'm able to click on my priority list see if there's anything on the priority list that needs to be done today uh, once I've done that priority list I can go to the schedule list and um, either bring something in from what I've scheduled later on or 
I can uh, see what's coming up and get prepared for that. I have just jumped on um, because I don't think you guys have actually seen downstairs since it's been cleaned a little bit better. Here's Curtis. Mm. Yo. Yo. Right, I'm just gonna show them this. Uh, it's becoming the norm now, I was walking around with cameras, isn't it? Just, just gonna show. So in here now, as you can see, it is nice and cleared out. Curtis has sprayed the doors. Nice and organized. Training room. Wow. Yes. Mega. Yeah, a little bit of, you know, finishing touches to do, but I'm mega happy with how it's turned out. Mega happy with the unit, now it's all been cleared. Um, and as I just said, finishing touches to do, get through the rest of the rooms, and it is fresh start for 2021. I just wanted to say a couple of things on this video um, regarding Gymshark and Ben Francis. Ben Francis is, a, first of all, let me congratulate you, Ben. If you are watching, not sure whether you will be, hopefully one day, um, but what an inspiration. You know, the valuation you gained on Gymshark last year was just phenomenal, and there's a lot of people out there you've massively inspired now, um, and for what you've created, I take my hat off to you. And it's locked down, so I won't be able to get my hair cut. But, mate, true inspiration. And if you guys don't know about Ben Francis, I'm sure you do. But if you don't, have a look what he did with Gymshark. He's a real inspiration and, yeah, really flying the flags for young entrepreneurs of today. So, well done, Ben. And, yeah, let's get back into this video. Fucking hell, man. I can't believe this. I'm finding this out now. I know, but I don't know how I'm going to cut it off. I've not got an angle grinder or anything here. Well, the problem is, there is a key, what we thought was the key. It doesn't work, so I'm not sure whether the lock's seized. Um, which it shouldn't seize this one, so... I thought I'd try and James Bond it. Oh, it just spins. Oh, so you can't drill it. You can't. I, that, I've always wondered why they spin. It spins, look. No way. I always wondered. No, Have you? No, well, I've never even knew they spun. Yeah, I've always, I always thought it was like a weather thing. So, like, water can't get in, but that must be what it's for. <laughs> I'd cut it off if I could. I've got another lock. Have you sort of put different stuff in these containers, or are they sort of as per what they, the label say, or what's the usual? Sorry? Um, in these containers, are they just sort of as per what's in the... Yeah, just what's on the label. What's on the label, right. Some little bottles on, so that doesn't go as high as that. Right. If you, if you look, there's like a table there, and then some of it's on a table. See, once upon a time we had tools everywhere, I don't know where everything's gone now. Do you know what? I think, basically, from what it is... Why, is the, is the truck here? No, he's not. Oh, right. We'll definitely get this open. We need this open. We can't be carrying it through there. It'll be a lot of... Yeah, a lot of mapping. Yeah, we, we will get it open. Most of these are, are thinners, aren't they? Just I've seen the paint. asses, the thinners, the paints. Yeah, it's, it's all the same stuff. Yeah. Like, we use the same products. Yeah. Curing agents, which I think should be okay as well. One, two, six, three, yeah. So it's all, yeah. like, it's all similar products, paints, thinners, hardeners, yeah. all that kind of stuff. It's just coming across any non-standard items, but I, I haven't seen anything that falls no, into anything yeah. too too nasty really because the IBC uh, option is quite a, 
I mean, it's quite broad spectrum, mm. but there's certain things that we can't have, like the acids far yeah, out of yeah. scope for it, basically. And they go, we'll keep that and we'll use it on the next job and we'll save it. Gotcha, yeah. And you don't use it on the next job because what you do then is you price it into the next job and then nobody can be bothered searching through all your products for a half a litre of 7016 or whatever just, it is. They just buy it. Yeah, so they just get it, a new yeah. one. So what we're best doing now is whatever we don't use on site, either dispose of it on site if yeah. they've got waste management on their sort of hazardous waste management or we sort of, I don't know, get, get rid of it quickly while we've not got a lot of it you know because otherwise yes. it gets up like this it, well this is it's going to be grand isn't it to to remove loads of waste mm. so we've saved nothing because yeah. the money it's cost us is the money it's we've got to pay now to get it yeah. removed so yeah. it's uh yeah it's a strange one mm, it's your back it's your back mate like, <laughs> i saw it in that like what the big beast do in the jungle <laughs> Hi! Hey, oh, goodness. Oh, Don't matter now, I've drilled it, you're gonna have to fucking angle grind it. Alright. Oh, lock. Okay, now we are talking. Right. PPE first, lad. Always PPE. PPE. First. Safety first. Well, the painted floor is now ruined. Thank you. Yeah. So this thing goes to them as well. Oh, okay, this yeah. This thing goes to the customer as well. Fair dues. <laughs> so that's that's pretty much yeah. oh, jobs we'll are good. Thank you. I'll send the yellow one then. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Inside Primo. I'm Jason. I'm the founder of Primo Group and I love doing these videos. These videos have made a big difference to the business in so many ways you couldn't imagine through um, from the office through to the technicians. Um, it's been great. So we enjoy making them. We're going to continue to make them. Um, make sure you subscribe to this channel because every single week, Friday to Sunday, we'll be bringing out uh, an Inside Primo video. And in between then, we'll be doing other videos, as you know. Uh, please don't forget to check out the Instagram. The Instagram I'll put up somewhere here. Um, where you'll be able to go over there. There's unique content to the Instagram, stuff you won't see on here. Uh, make sure you go over there and follow. And don't forget, um, you know, just to check out all our channels and stay tuned with what we're doing. So thanks again. Click here for last week's Inside Primo. Click here for another video, which I'll allow Aiden to choose. And click here for the um, subscribe button.